Hello everybody, welcome back for the Saturday look at what we got growing on here. Obviously I'm not going to go into too much detail because tomorrow is the full look around and I think I think I'm actually going to include the uh, kitchen window garden up there. Got, you know, a nice collection of herbs growing, got some nice leafy greens growing, so might as well show you, you know, what's growing. But today we're going to look at a couple of things. We finally have another winter with some decent uh, roots coming out of the bottom of the cup, so we're going to move into another chicken bucket and I actually have a couple of sprouts in that 72 cell. Not a lot because I mean it's only been I think it's been exactly a week actually um, but I'll, there are a couple so uh, I might as well show you what's growing on there too. Alright so first things first under the purple light there. Well I guess it's under the purpley red light right now because I do have both switches going but I was looking at the plants earlier and I noticed the ring of fire here seems to have nice long roots sticking out of the bottom. So I'm going to take that as enough of a starting point that we're going to cut open another one of those chicken buckets and that'll make six. So, alright. This Ahi Peruvian here doesn't actually have roots coming out yet. But I figured this would be my tester. I'm sure sooner or later they will. So, all things in time. Anyway. A little wiggle jiggle Tetris game and I'll uh, have a spot for that. Got to cut a hole in the lid. Now to find my X-Acto knife in all this mess. So for those of you who are curious as to my overall plan here, I'm just going to use the Sharpie draw around the lid. I don't have the tripod at the moment so you don't get to see that. And then uh, cut out my hole with the X-Acto knife. Perhaps a pair of scissors. We'll see what's working better for me today. So what I've done for nutrients for this particular plant is I've added just the Flora Micro and the Flora Grow. I am skipping the bloom back there, but that should give us a 717 and uh, hopefully we can get some nice growth out of that without too much flower production. Yay, now the furnace finishes. Anyway, resulted in this color, put it into, a, I believe this is a one and a half liter jug, which should be more than enough as the camera adjusts to fill this for us here today. We shall see. Thinking very seriously about drilling uh, little filling holes on the side of these so I can use one of those fine nozzled watering cans and just fill it up that way. Won't have to move the plant around as much. But these chicken buckets take a surprising amount of liquid. And that may not even get the bottom of the cup yet. But the roots extended, so that's not too much of a concern. There you go. Enjoy your new home. Give it a second, check the bottom of the cup. Yeah, it's damp, we're good. Damp, but not soakered. All right, so now Ring of Fire, Ahi Peruvian, Grandpa Siberian Home, Crimson Red, Super Chili, and an Ahi Panic. It almost looks organized like this, doesn't it? All right, moving on. I did briefly mention something about sprouts earlier. I am pleased to announce the beginning of my early golden acre cabbages. Excellent. It's a good one to have growing around. And this would be the snowflower or the snowball cauliflower. You just barely see it starting to poke up in a couple of places. Probably be a little bit more pronounced tomorrow. Nothing else coming up in those plantings yet, but that's great because those were on the 19th. That's what, the 24th, five days? Not bad at all, not bad at all. Moving over here, we've got the uh, anchocha, I think, cucumber. It's just out of its little water bottle top, so it's a little floppy. Trying to adjust, but it's been uncapped for the last mm, couple days. So in theory, the adjustment shouldn't be too bad. I might lose this one, hopefully not. But the real happy news as far as sprouts comes from the 72 cell. Move that off to the side. Give this a couple moments. Oh, I see another one here. I'll have to turn it to see what sprout that is. But over here, oh, actually, is that another one there too? That looks like a pepper seed sprout. Okay, so what do we got here? That's the red ghost. Excellent. Up here is sugar rush peach. And up here is a chocolate maruga. And back there is yet another kale that got missed. <laughs> yeah, okay, so what is this one here? Let's turn the tray and find out. So it turns out that little sprout is a carbonero pepper. All right, that is really kind of surprising for only seven days. This is on a heat mat, but 
you know, hey, standard planting works. Who knew? Awesome. Now, if the rest of you, you know, 19, 20 other varieties wanted to pop up sometime soon, that'd be great. That'd be great. Really nothing going on in this planter yet, except some lovely moss collections on those little tiny shot glass sized party cups. But, you know, I might just have to admit that, uh, well, that just didn't work out for me and move on from there. I got lots of other seeds. It's just a shame to let go. <laughs> be nice if uh, some of those purple freaks sprouted up too, but those are going to be really old seeds. So who knows what uh, sort of a sprout rate we'll get there. Anything at all would be swell, but yeah, waiting is. And on the note of waiting is, there are a few other things that I'm uh, kind of excited about that I want to show you down here. But I think we're going to wait for tomorrow and the full tour around at everything that's growing on. And actually, I'm going to try and remember tomorrow, I'll take you guys up to the studio. A couple of those spider plants are just going insane. So, yeah, stick around for that if you like the full garden update sort of experience. And uh, have yourselves a fantastic night, everybody. Take care.